This is a lesson in thaumatropes and how to create an optical toy. A thaumatrope is an optical toy that was popular in the 19th century. A thaumatrope uses perspective and motion. It is based on the theory of persistence of vision because there are two images on this disc, one on each side with strings attached to each side. As you pull those strings and spin it, the two images seem to blend together to become one. It is an optical illusion. To create these thaumatropes is a pretty simple process. So first you'll need some supplies, paper, pencil, glue, string or rubber band, a hole punch, and then you're going to trace a circle onto a piece of paper. You can use two pieces of paper and hold them close together or you can fold that one piece of paper so that you have two circles. You're going to carefully cut along your pencil line and again you want to have two matching circles when you have cut this out. Then it's time to get creative. You want to have great looking images, one on each side. And remember, they're going to overlap, so be careful of your placement. When you glue these together, you want to remember also that one side should be up while the other side is down so that when they spin, they both appear to be up. You're going to take a string or those rubber bands for the edges, and when you attach them and then pull the strings between your two hands, you can spin those images. Here are some examples of great ideas for thaumatropes. Spider in a web, a skull and crossbones, a tiger in a cage, a fish in a fishbowl. Maybe you're going to have a big fish eat little fish. Maybe you're going to have a smiling face or a blinking eye. There are all sorts of ideas. Then you're going to add finishing touches to your thaumatrope, such as extra details or color. You should experiment with materials, with the size, with the shape, and the designs. Maybe you're going to have a square piece of paper or use paper plate. Thaumatropes can be simple or elaborate, as you can see in the examples that we've had. I'm curious to see what sort of unique thaumatrope you are going to create. Take at least two pictures of your final project to send along. Take a picture of the front and the back. Have fun.